you give me a hand for a sec? Yeah. I've got glue everywhere. How can I best assist you? If you could just hold it there, that's grand. Oh my god. Is it up against the thing? Yeah. Feels like it should be a bit lower on your side. That's pretty small. Oh, I've stunned that nail thing again. You just have to push really hard. So today we're installing a dado rail. Um, it's not too tricky. Um, the main challenge though is that the dado rail is not flush with the wall. So having to be quite creative with uh, the nail gun, lots of filler and doing some kind of interesting angles to make sure it kind of flows around the wall properly. Um, the nail gun's been oh, a, a little bit annoying. Kind of quite a few of the nails have ended up sort of um, not going straight into the wood. I think it's because I'm using it on a surface that's not totally flat. Um, like look at this one um, But anyway, we want to get like a really good finish with this because this is going to be the, the master bedroom So one thing I'm really conscious of is using the Ellis spray gun the paint spray gun um, Anything like where we've got the kind of line of cork it will probably pick it up and you'll be able to see it through the paint So I'm going to try and get a, get a get rid of as much of the cork as possible um, And then probably just give it a very light sanding and then we'll have to use a primer as well just to make sure that when the paint goes on, it's a really smooth finish. Um, but yeah, we're nearly there now. It's just like tidying up. But these bits are really important just to get kind of a very quality finish. Tell me what very quality finish is. Chris is asking me what a really, a very quality finish is. Um, uh, of course, my grammar's not always the greatest. <laughs> it's a high quality finish. Thank you. Right, I just have one more piece of dado rail to cut and then I'll be finished. Um, and then we'll be able to crack on with the painting, which is kind of the fun bit really, because that's where, I don't know, you really start to see things happening quite quickly. The dado rail has been super frustrating because every time I try to use the nail gun, I think it's because they've got this weird, not here, but downstairs they've got this weird kind of foamy wallpaper which I think is meant to kind of like insulate it um, but when you try and fire nail gun nails into it um, it just seems to keep kind of messing up a bit um, but anyway I've got like one more piece to cut and then hopefully we'll be able to kind of crack on with the painting which is the fun bit so I feel like we might have a montage coming up So we got this paint from Mylands and uh, I think what, what quite impressed us is that we were able to use a tiny little, I don't know what size it was, like 1.5 litre, um, I shall check, how big are these little tins? One litre. Anyway, this Mylan's paint, I think one thing that's been great about it is um, the cover has been fantastic. So we did this entire wall in one tin of, of sort of satin wood paint. Um, we did like, towards the end, we were like watering it down massively just to sort of squeeze every last drop because um, it's quite special stuff. I think they say within Mylan's paint, there is like um, ground up marble. Um, and gives it a really rich, deep color, and it, it makes the matte kind of one of the most matte colors you can find. Um, so yeah, anyway, we've, we've sort of fell in love with this color, and we definitely want to use it on this wall, but I think we're gonna go for slightly lighter colors for the rest of the room, just to make sure that it's sort of a really well-lit um, 
and Lightroom. What's been a bit of a challenge for us is we love going dark and um, using really rich, deep colours. Um, I think we probably had to just like restrain ourselves a little bit because obviously it's not to everyone's taste and we have to kind of um, think about like what the customers want. Um, and so yeah, it's been important to kind of get the balance right between sort of letting ourselves go and using our, kind of our creative instincts, but also moderating ourselves a little bit um, to make sure that it, it's sort of, um, it's to everyone's taste. I think like there'll be certain rooms where we will go a little bit wild, um, but I think it's about having a, a sort of a choice of room. So if you've got kind of someone who's the, um, who's sort of splashing out the majority, they, they at least have like a choice of rooms and can pick one which sort of suits their tastes, I guess. So I'm just thinking about like some of the top tips that we've got. Um, I think one thing to, um, one thing that we've certainly learned is masking tape, masking takes quite a long time. And when you're doing windows, I think if you've got a new clean window with um, where the previous people who've decorated it have done it really neatly, then it's sort of quite easy to mask it up and sort of protect those lines. But if, if the previous decorator has sort of not really been very kind of, hasn't really kind of created very um, neat lines, you're basically just going to end up having like two different colours down the sort of bit of the mirror. So actually what we've done is we just, we're not bothered masking it at all and just using a kind of a really new fresh paint scraper, you can then just peel away the, the, the sort of the paint that we've put on and actually tidy up the, the previous paint at the same time, um, which is quite a good time-saving hack I've found anyway. And just trying to think what other top tips I can tell our viewers. One other top tip that's only really relevant to St Bernard and maybe a few other dog breed owners um, is that sometimes it's worth leaving the bottom until last because literally Bo has only been here a couple of days and yet somehow everywhere in the entire chateau, all sort of 400 square meters of it, there is dog hair. And so if you get near the bottom, you end up just picking up a load of fur, which then becomes a permanent part of the wall. <laughs> I got paint on my nose. Yeah, quite a Anyway, we're now down to painting the skirting board, which uh, is quite a faff, I'm not going to lie. Um, but once this is done, then we'll be able to use the amazing paint spraying machine, which so far has been quite frustrating um, and hasn't really done a lot of painting. But I think that's because we didn't have it set up properly or we didn't have these, it didn't come with the filters that it was meant to come with, so just kept on getting blocked. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited when we get there, but first, more fiddly stuff. So today we've uh, managed to finish the, the blue wall, which I think looks pretty good. Um, very happy with that. Um, tomorrow, we've now got the fun task of spray painting the walls. Now, the preparation is like the painful bit. We've spent all afternoon, well, not all afternoon, we've spent all afternoon painting this wall, but um, we spent the last hour or so just doing all of this um, masking tape and plastic sheeting all the way around the room uh, so that tomorrow when we start using the spray gun, hopefully we won't have lots of uh, white splodges behind. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. Keep your fingers crossed for us. Yeah. We We've had mixed results with the paint spray, but apparently if you strain it, it does help. Ooh, wow. Can we get a close-up of the paint? This looks like... Yeah, totally. Milkshake. It looks gorgeous. 
And the reason we've gone for a kind of slightly lighter colour then, because we love dark colours, don't we? Like, but we're having to really rein it in because this is going to be, I guess, the main bedroom. We actually need to be able to see themselves, so uh, that's why we've got a bit lighter than we normally could. But this with the Bond Street blue is going to look stunning. It looks like a beautiful milkshake. Get me a straw. <laughs> Yeah, for this room, we've decided to kind of go for the grouse um, above the picture rails um, and the, what's it called, Brompton? No, on, on, on street, sorry, on, on, the, on the walls and on the woodwork and below the picture rails. We've um, gone for some of our kind of preferences with like the dark colours, but it'll also be a really light room with this gorgeous grouse, um, grouse paint above the picture rails. I wonder how, how long these filters actually last for. I think, well, I guess it's just like one. I don't know if you can see, but they've got like a usage time. In there, so there's not just the paper code, they've got like a thing on the end. More? Well, actually, by the time you put the pump in, maybe it's going to disintegrate. A little bit. Is that the actual thing? I don't know, let me hold it. Oh, that texture. Amazing. basically spent a lot of this weekend just working on this this room um, we're not quite there yet but we're really close we've done all the painting there's just a couple of tiny touch-ups to do um, fixing this chandelier together and then putting it up was a real real bugger but we got there in the end and so I'm changing the light switch on here as well but um, no, it's not quite there yet look at that dimmable has to be apparently in france though they don't really use dimmer switches because like the shops only seem to have like one um and they're really really expensive it was like 30 euros for one dimmer switch um 
anyhow, um, until next week.